Well, as expected, uh, the changing to a constant chord elevon doesn't seem to have made any difference. The flow starts to separate at the numbers we saw earlier, about 15 degrees of deflection. Certainly the chord of the Elevon is, uh, the fact that it has a reverse taper to it is not impacting this particular problem. So uh, I think for now we have to wait until uh, we have a day where there's more wind, where we're up around 20 miles an hour. We get the Reynolds number up there and come back and do some more tests with the uh, standard Elevon plugged in here. I think we can conclude that the gap seal uh, does help somewhat uh, and it's probably an issue of Reynolds number and a laminar separation bubble. Uh, it, that's especially indicated by the trip strip not working. If you have a laminar separation bubble it just kind of lifts off the surface and the trip strip never has a chance to work because uh, the flow is just going up and over. Anyway, uh, bye for now.